Good to see you. When Antonin Scalia first took his seat on the bench in 1986, O'Connor found him to be a breath of fresh air. Nino Scalia will have a dramatic impact here, she wrote in her journal. He is brilliant, confident, skillful, and charming. Before long, however, she'd settled on an alternate descriptor, abrasive. Justice Scalia was a person who thought that much of modern constitutional law was wrong. He had an agenda, and it was to set things right by his view. His view that the only legitimate method of constitutional interpretation was to try to figure out what the original meaning would have been to the 18th century founding fathers. A fulfillment of the Republican Party's promise to appoint anti-abortion judges at all levels, Scalia saw the law in black and white. O'Connor was inclined toward the gray. Once, while discussing an affirmative action case in which a woman bus driver had been promoted over a more qualified man, Scalia launched into a diatribe against hiring practices based on race or sex. O'Connor cut him off midstream. Why, Nino, she deadpanned. How do you think I got my job? Scalia was a justice of rules and not of standards. A rule is you're either in or you're out. A standard is, wow, you really have to think about this. And Sandra O'Connor was much more a justice of standards. Justice O'Connor is not a person who says, I'm a liberal, therefore I think X, or I'm a conservative, therefore I think Y. And so people who expect her to hew a line will, of course, be naturally disappointed because it's not her line. 